Imagine if you got what you want every time. No struggle, no hard work, no challenges. No hard work required. Some of you are saying that would be great. You would be weak. And then when something hard comes up in your life, you wouldn't know how to handle it. Because you have never gone through anything that strengthens you. You cannot grow without struggle. You cannot develop strength without resistance, without challenging yourself, without struggle. Pain is your friend. Maybe not in the moment, but for the evolution of your soul, for the long-term benefit of you as a stronger human being, pain is your friend. If you didn't have failures, if you didn't have struggles, if you didn't have disappointment, you could have no strength, no courage, no compassion. How could you? Those qualities are made from your pain and struggle. You are given pain because you are strong enough to handle it. You are given this life because you are strong enough to live it. Because you are strong enough to drive through it, to thrive through it, to inspire others through it. They will look to you and say, he did it. She did it. I have the strength to do it too. You are stronger than you think. You will survive all your challenges to this point. And you will survive whatever is coming. But next time a struggle comes, I don't want you to curse the skies. Know that it was sent for a reason and a lesson. It might be to make you stronger. It might be to teach you patience. It might be for you to show others your spirit. There is a reason. So don't you give up. You have a purpose in this world. And you will only find it if you keep going and keep growing. Your struggle is a part of your story. Your struggle made you the person you are today. Your struggle is your life. Your struggle is your gift. See, many people look at struggle like it's a bad thing. Your struggle will be the gift that the world falls in love with. Nobody wants to hear the story of the man that was given everything. People want to hear the stories of men and women that endure pain and turn their struggles into a gift. Do you want people just to feel sorry for you? Or you want people to look up to you? Do you want to be a legend? Because legends are born in the valley of struggle. Fear is only a fictional movie. But reality is a struggle. Reality is the struggle. So take the struggle and change your reality. Because the whole time you were thinking that your struggle was holding you back. It was really giving you the tools to become one of the greatest. No more second guessing. No more blaming others for the problems you have in your life. All right, it's a new day. This is my one way ticket to my dreams. You only go to sleep when you've done something. Some of y'all just need to be up. You need insomnia. You need to stay up all the time. You ain't doing nothing. You need to know your why. And my why wakes me up every single morning. Why do you do what you do? And I'm so successful at what I do because I don't do what I do for money. You don't get it. And when you don't do what you do for money, it comes to you. Opportunities come. I don't do what I do for money. Most, most high schools that call me in the hood can't afford me. I don't do what I do for money. I do what I do because every time I get a, a message that said, I failed. I failed the LSAT twice. I failed the bar exam twice. I'm going back the third time. You gave me motivation to go back and try it again. And guess what? I nailed it on the third time. That's my why. 
My why is every single day when I wake up, every minute of the day, every hour of the day, I have an opportunity. Somebody who quit, somebody who gave up, somebody who stopped in life. I have the power at my nickname, the refresher. I have the power as the refresher to make you believe again, to make you get up when you got up three times and you say, I'm not getting up no more. That's my why. I got a chance to change you. I got a chance to recreate my whole life. My granddaddy was a high school dropout. My father was a high school dropout. I dropped out of school almost 60 years, and my son's a few months away from walking across that stage and doing what none of us have ever done. That's my why, because when I get up at three o'clock in the morning, his room is upstairs, and when I open up the garage, he hears me, and he knows dad's up again. That's my why. He knows he can't sleep in, because I don't sleep in. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to look at that alarm clock, you're going to look at that alarm clock and it's going to say 6, and 6 is the time you wake up, and you're going to look again and it's going to say 6 or 5, and you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, I, I push yourself, get up. Your mama needs you. Your daddy needs you. Your children need you. Your community, get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why! The reason why you don't give 120% every time you get on the field, because you ain't got a why for what you do. At the end of your feelings is nothing. But at the end of every principle is a promise. Yeah. I'm going to say it one more time because I want you to get that. Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings. But behind every principle is a promise. Right? Okay, I'm going to give you a couple principles that I say I believe in. Find a man who's diligent at what he does. And that's the principle. Diligence. And he shall stand before kings and not mean men. That's a principle. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now is because you're just all about your feelings. You, you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? I don't feel like working today. I, can I tell you something? Every day you say no to your dream, you might be pushing your dream back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up, could have pushed your stuff back. I don't know how long. Success, number one, starts with you. Like, for real, real success is you say one thing, and if you do what you say 70% of the time, you're going to be average. If you do what you say, you're going to do 80% of the time. You're going to be real good. And if you do what you say you're going to do 90% of the time, you're going to be great. Because very few people do what they say they're going to do.